just got off the phone with the girl who loves you too Said you're working on yourself, is she helping with that too? You gave her the time of day You told her that you would stay You made me feel the same way What goes around comes around, that's what I always say What's up, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. I hope everyone out there is doing well. All right, Scorpio, so we're going to get into these messages. If anything you need to know about me will be in the description box below. Let's include any of the intro songs. If you guys are wanting to look at uh, Rose Forever, show you this. If you're interested in shopping with Rose Forever to get a beautiful arrangement of these handcrafted roses, okay, check out the description box below. There will be a coupon inside for $25 off using the coupon code BLUEFLAME25, okay? All right, you guys, let's get into this reading. All right, Holy Spirit, what is it that Scorpio needs to know? Messages for my Scorpio. Tell us more. All right, Scorpio, we have spiritual guidance, okay? So you have an angel that has been with you or that's watching over you, okay? They're giving you spiritual guidance, and they're also protecting you from harm, okay? So you have, like, your own personal guardian angel, okay? You have several of them, Scorpio, but these angels are they are guiding you spiritually here, okay? And they're protecting you from any harm. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Ooh. Tell us more. Okay, Scorpio, we also have sun. Okay, so we have happiness and well-being. Okay, so Scorpio, you will be experiencing more happiness, more joy, more peace in your life. Thank you, Jesus, okay? You will be experiencing this in your life and your overall well-being, okay? It's like everything that you do, like you're just going to be in this energy of happy. Everybody's going to be like, what's going on with Scorpio? Why Scorpio so happy? Tell me because you've been listening to your angels and your spirit guides. You know, all these angel messages, you've been listening. And you've been doing what spirit has been guiding you to do. Okay, so now they're about to bless you with this happiness now, okay? All right, tell us more, Holy Spirit. What is it that Scorpio needs to know? I love you, Scorpio. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. All right, Scorpio, okay, but so we got beware of greed here, okay? So beware of this pig, Scorpio. You can be being greedy, okay? Someone could be wanting to be greedy, want to have what you have, Scorpio, okay? What you don't work hard for. You got people out here like that, you know what I'm saying? You got people that's copycatting, trying to copy your style and shit. They can't know, Scorpio. What is it? Often imitated but never duplicated, okay? You can imitate all you want to, but you can't duplicate this style, okay? And we have nest, okay? An emotionally secure love and family is important to you, okay? So I feel like right now, Scorpio, some of you guys, you like me. You like, all right, I see spirit ain't gonna really, you know what I'm saying? I, I guess bless me with the love I want right now. So let me just, let me just focus on me. You know what I'm saying? You just focus on you. You focus on your family, your kids, and just trying to make things in those areas better. You know, you're like, okay, before I focus on love and all that, let me get my money together. Okay. Let me get some coins together. Let me get my kids together. Let me get my life together before I can have anything else. Okay. So having an emotionally secure family. Okay. Having all your, your eggs in a basket is, is more important to you at this point in time. You know, I ain't saying you done gave up on love, but you're like, right now, okay, yeah, I'm cool on love. I see I ain't gonna have no love. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm not even gonna focus any more attention on that. I'm gonna focus on the things that's more important to me right now, okay? And what's more important to some of you guys is having this emotionally secure family, okay? Something that you may have not had growing up, okay? Messages for my Scorpio. Tell us more. All right, Scorpio, we got haystack. Okay, baby, you will be reaping what you have sown. Okay, so good karma, Scorpio, is coming to you. Because remember, we have happiness and well-being. This is what you will be having in the future, okay? You will be reaping good karma. All, those, all that good energy that you've been putting out, all the things that you've been doing to improve and help others and help yourself, Scorpio, you're going to get back. You're going to reap what you sown, okay? So don't worry, don't worry about it. Where did one go? Hold on. Okay, then we also have funnel. Okay, let's talk about a period of frustration, 
lessons to be learned, okay? So I feel like, Scorpio, this could happen after you went through this funnel. So if you haven't had a period of frustration, I ain't talking about no couple of days, Scorpio. I'm talking about a period. We're talking about damn near a year or more. It's just been a whole period of being frustrated and you had lessons. Some of you guys, you could have been like in your south node. In the South Node, you know, that's where you learn your lessons. And then in the North Node, you start to apply and walk on your divine path. So some of you guys, like I said, there were some lessons. There was a whole period of frustration that you went through, okay? But you had to learn that there were some lessons that need to be learned. It was the reason why you had that period of frustration so that you can get into this energy, so that you can have the sun. It talks about happiness and well-being. That means your overall life, your overall well-being, you happy. You ain't got no complaints. Well, somebody hit you up, be like, shit, Scorpio, how everything been? Shit, it's wonderful. You know what I'm saying? Wonderful. Everything is wonderful. And they like, well, how is it wonderful? And you by yourself, you ain't got no man, you ain't got no woman. Shit, that will make it even more better. Because I ain't got that extra drama in my life, okay? So I feel like, Scorpio, you going through that is what's going to help you reap this karma, okay? You're going to reap what you have sown, okay? Now, meanwhile, on the ring, Scorpio, we got this pair. We got time to get out of a situation. So I feel like while these things are coming to you, someone here could be watching you as well, okay? Maybe they're experiencing a period of frustration, okay? There were some lessons that they had to learn dealing with someone, okay? Now they don't learn them lessons, Scorpio. That's like, well, shit, it's time to go, okay? Now someone here that they have learned some type of lessons, possibly dealing with a third party here or dealing with someone that was placed in their life, okay? This could be you, this person could be both of y'all, you know? But this is someone who feels like it's time to get out of this situation, okay? It's over with. All right, tell us more, Holy Spirit. We got a couple more. We're going to clarify this. Some of you guys, after, you know, you get where you need to be after you, you reap this good karma, okay? Some of this could be financially, okay? This could be what you need so that you can get out of a situation, okay? Maybe you've been having to stay in a situation or put up with some things because you weren't financially stable enough to move on, okay? But now you can do that. We also have compliments from an admirer, okay, now? So anybody out there, Scorpio, that's giving you a little compliment, I don't care what kind of compliment it is, Scorpio, that could be someone that is admiring you, okay? Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Dang, y'all car swan. Then we also got this ram, okay? This talks about a stubborn, aggressive person. So for some of you, okay, there could be an admirer or somebody that's going to compliment you or that has been complimenting you. You know, like, you're like, man, you know what? I'm just going to see what's up. Or this person could be like, they're going to see what's up. Okay, but then you got this stubborn, aggressive person, though. Somebody may not like that this person is admiring you or that you got other men, other women that's admiring you, okay? This makes this person very stubborn, make them want to act a fool up in here, up in here, okay? So let's look at this pale. Tell us more about this pair for my Scorpios. Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. Tell us about this pair. Who is ready to get out of a situ situation or who feels like it's time to get out of a situation? Tell us about this pair. Who feels like it's time? Okay. Queen of Pentacles. Okay. So someone here, Scorpio, can feel like it's time to get out of a situation so they can be with their queen of pentacles. This person is very down to earth, that's practical, that's nurturing, that's a homebody, that's stable, and that represents financial stability, baby, okay? So someone here can be ready to get out of a situation that they're in to come towards this queen of pentacles. Tell us more. All right, tell us more about time to get out of a situation. Who is this Holy Spirit? Five of Pentacles, okay? Whoever this is, this is someone who has been dragging out this feeling of feeling isolated and abandoned and, you know, just feeling hopeless about their life and everything that's going on around them, okay? So some of you, this could be a Taurus here. But this is this person that feels like somebody here, they just been dragging out this feeling. Like they've been feeling hopeless. They've been feeling lost. They've been feeling confused for a long ass time, okay? Frustrated. In this relationship, in a marriage that they're in, okay? But now this person feels like it's time to get out of this situation. They're tired of dragging out this feeling. They're tired of being in this energy. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Messages for my Scorpios. Tell us more. 
All right, Scorpio, there's about to be a tower here, okay? So somebody feels it's time to get out of situation, okay? It's time to get out of this marriage. It's time to get out of this unhappy, unfulfilled relationship, okay? And something unexpectedly is going to happen. Ooh, we got the empress, baby. <laughs> What's going to happen, Scorpio, is that you're going to go from this queen of pentacles, baby, to this empress, okay? And the tower moment that this person is going to have, they, it's gonna have is they, they must confess now. So they're going to sit here and watch you be. This queen of pentacles, okay? Very financially stable, very financially abundant, okay? Some of you guys, your business can be taken off. You know, it can be growing here. And it's all because you buckle down and you just chose to focus on your goals and your career. You were not worried about love. You weren't worried about sex. You weren't worried about none of that, you guys. I learned that when I don't have sex, you guys, that's when I'm more creative. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to get the penis ejaculating all in my mind. You know what I'm saying? I can I can focus more on my goals. I'm able to get more stuff done, okay? So there's about to be a tower moment in this connection, you guys. And what's going to happen is that this person, Scorpio, wants to confess because now you're this emperor. Okay, now you're very beautiful. Okay, you're creating all type of shit out here. Some of you guys, you're gonna be having products or something, and, and, and like your name is gonna be beautiful. This person ain't gonna be able to help, but to see you or think about you because they, your name, your face gonna be everywhere. Okay, you really birthed this whole new person all because you nurtured yourself, you loved yourself, you cared for yourself, you stopped those bad habits, you cut out those people, places, and things that no longer serve you, okay? You just start to focus on you, your family, your dreams, your goals, and your career. That's why you're going to reap this karma, okay? And that's why you're going to go, baby, from being this queen of pentacles, baby, to this whole empress. And once this person really see you rise, really see you step into this energy, they're like, uh-uh, I got to go hurry up and get my empress for somebody to come snatch that ass out the market here, okay? All right, so let's look at this round. Now let's look at this, uh, let's look at this bouquet. Who is the compliments from an admirer? Because you got somebody, Scorpio, that's admiring you. It could be this person. You could be helping this person, Scorpio, go on to get up out this situation. Tell us about compliments from an admirer. Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. Tell us about Holy Spirit. Compliments from an admirer. Who is this person? That's, look at this. Ooh, Scorpio. Somebody, Scorpio, that's learning to overcome obstacles in their life. Remember, we have somebody here could be going through a period of frustration, okay? But there's lessons that this person must learn. Before this period of frustration is over with, okay? Now this person, I feel like, has learned these lessons, okay? Now they've overcome these obstacles. Now they got purpose. Now they got direction, okay? Now this person, Scorpio, wants to come in and work with you, okay? You guys work on the same goals. And this was this person, Scorpio, that was very stingy, stingy stubborn. For some of you, when you were dealing with this person in the past, all they was focused on was money, okay? Very materialistic. For some of you, they like to show off, you know, or some of you guys, they would just focus on work. You know, maybe they weren't a show off, but they didn't have time for love. You know, all they had time for was to get this money. For some of you, this is your divine counterpart because we got the queen and the king of pentacles, but this person is in reverse. So this is this person that's been admiring you, okay? So let's look at this sub and aggressive person here. Who is this? Messages for my Scorpio. We'll go through the signs in just a second, Scorpio. Tell us about this ram, Holy Spirit. Who is this ram? I just seen the Queen of Wands. We're going to see if she come out. Who is this ram, Holy Spirit? Messages for my Scorpio. Who is this ram? Who is this stubborn, aggressive person? Yep. Okay, so... Well, let's, let's get one more. We got the for Give us one more in the Ram Holy Spirit. I'm trying to see exactly who this is. So for some of you, this could be two people. Who is this Ram? Give, us one, give me one more Holy Spirit on this Ram. Page. Okay. So you got this thumb and aggressive person, Scorpio. This is this person who was who was not willing to face reality okay for some of you guys this period of frustration for some of you this person took too long to get out this situation okay they didn't want to accept the truth they didn't want to accept the truth about this third party or the situation or whatever that they had involved themselves in okay this is someone that the universe had been guiding them over and over again to say goodbye to this third party to these whomever okay but they were refusing to let go 
Okay, and this is someone that could be coming towards you with bad news. So I, I feel for some of you guys, this person will, some of you guys, this person is going to get out of the situation, okay? Some of you guys, they can be involved, they can be married in another situation. They're going to get out of that situation, okay? And then for some of you guys, I feel like you still got this person that's, that's not. For some of you, someone is going to get out of a situation at their end. For some of you, this person is not, okay? Now, this realm, I feel like for some of you, it's, it's this person from your past. 10, 10 keep coming up. This person was refusing to say goodbye to someone, okay? Like I said, they're going to have to see you step into this empress energy, and that's really going to piss this person off. That's really going to make this person mad, Scorpio, because they were stubborn. They didn't come towards you. They didn't do what the universe was guiding them to. They kept on trying to make things work with this third party. They were refusing to let go of this person. Now this person, for some of you guys, could be coming towards you with bad news. So it's like you up here on your throne, okay? Everything good in your life, and this person got some bad news to share with you, okay? Let's see who this is. Okay, so we have Virgo, Leo, Scorpio, Cancer, Capricorn, Taurus, Libra, Taurus, Scorpio, Gemini, and Heavy Gemini. Okay, so we have Libra, Gemini, Scorpio, Leo. We got Sag, Aquarius, Virgo, Leo. And we also have Sag, Aries, Virgo, and Pisces, okay? You know what else I'm thinking for some of you too? I feel like for some of you guys, this person is going to leave this situation to come towards you and this other person. For some of you that's not, it's like you're going to be receiving this good karma and this person going to have bad news to tell you, okay? So it's like where everything is going great in your life, everything is falling apart in theirs, okay? And it's all because they were refusing to let go of somebody here, okay? All right, you guys, I love you, and until next time, stay blessed.